Hello and welcome to The Natural Way of Life. This video is about the waning moon cycle. So if your moon time aligns with this cycle, then this video is for you. I will share some of my personal experiences with this cycle and what it means. So the waning moon happens just after a full moon. So the full moon is when it's at its biggest and brightest in the sky. Then it begins to wane. So with alignment with that cycle, the waning is when it is lowering in energy. So I have found this particular cycle, energy levels are lower. And also because your moon time is aligning when it's waning, you're more than likely then to be ovulating on or around the new moon, which is also a lower energy phase. So that is one of the big things I've noticed with this cycle is lower energy levels, which can be really quite challenging to deal with. I also find that there is a huge call inwards with this particular cycle because it is a time of reflection often reflecting on what's going on in our lives maybe where we're at in our lives where we want to be and a great time for healing too so i've often found when i go through times of like whether needed or quite deep healing it will then often coincide with this waning moon cycle because it's a very inwards energy as well i often feel um not always and this might not resonate for everyone so feel free to share in the comments and let me know how this cycle aligns for you and if this information resonates but it's actually quite an alone time like you may find you're spending more time alone or you maybe feel more alone at this particular time but there is so much growth to be had within this particular cycle it also kind of weighs up with that transitional stage in our lives. So where something in our lives is changing and maybe we're not quite sure in the direction of where things are going, but it is um, a stage of change, okay? There is some type of transition taking place. Um, I know this myself because if I look a couple you know, bit of time back, for instance, when I aligned with the full moon cycle, my energy was more outwards and I was focusing my energy more on helping others, healing others and putting that kind of energy out into the world. However, now I'm at a point where I'm like, hmm, I actually need to focus my energy a little bit more on myself and I've been doing more healing work on myself. So therefore, the transition has been reflected within my moon time cycle and that is another thing just to touch on that not to panic or worry you know if for instance your um period does change moon cycles or maybe it's a little bit delayed or it comes slightly earlier because ultimately if there are things in your life that are changing and we're forever changing like life is <laughs> never just one straight road that will then often be reflected in your cycle and if you watch the other videos on my channels where I cover the different moon cycles and what it means when you um, have your moon time aligning with those, that information is obviously it's a theme and it's a guide. Um, but from the feedback received, it's it's been pretty accurate for a lot of women and it's really helpful to know how your inner energy is connecting then with your outer energy and your bleed time. So it's really, really powerful. And that is why I love to share um, this information out to help others on their journey. And remembering that when you have your moon time, um, it's a really, really sacred time. That is your time to go inwards, to reflect, to listen to your inner guidance that you're receiving and listen to what is coming up within your body. You know, the tension you may be feeling, um, are you feeling angry? Are you feeling sadness? And listen to whereabouts in your body you're feeling that. And that's your sometimes cue of areas and things that may actually need to come up for healing. Because often we can repress a lot inwards. You know, we just hold on to a lot of things, we repress it down. And then obviously, in that time coming up to our periods and on our period, that is when, you know, our 
kind of like our bullshit filter is lower so we're just less tolerant of things the veil's a bit thinner for us so that is the time to really listen to what is coming up for you and as it says in this image it's like tending to your inner world your inner garden and looking at what you need right now and i just want to mention as well any artwork i've used in this video i want to say i don't know the artists i just literally found them off pinterest but wherever or whoever you are in the world just thank you so much for your beautiful art and for me being able to share it so yeah i always like to give credit to the artists so these are some of just my feelings with this um waning moon cycle and i feel like it is quite a popular one because often compared to a waxing moon cycle because that's still transitional but that's also associated the waxing moon with a lot of spiritual growth that that one because it's a building energy because when it's waxing the moon is building up towards the full moon whereas the wane is slowly diminishing in light so it is a huge time for your own personal growth and finding your light and working through any challenges that are coming up for you they are the, the main types of themes and as I say it's something that I align with and other women around me um, or that I've been helping as well in their healing journeys they've also agreed that it is that transitional time and a lot of personal growth happens in that so don't fear the loneliness don't fear the inner reflection and don't be afraid of the growth and the change because that is where the most magical transformations will happen in your life and even if you look back in one month's time a year's time you will not be that same person and we're forever growing changing and healing and that is powerful and remember your power we all have our own personal power but remember it um you are beautiful and you are here for a reason i hope this video has been helpful if you're not already subscribed, subscribe. I'm trying to release as much more new content as possible to help and guide you on your healing journey. Any questions, let me know. And let me know how this video has sat and if you feel with your cycle. This is also the kind of themes you are experiencing on the waning moon cycle, also known as the purple moon cycle. So I tried to incorporate a bit of purple in. So yeah, slow down, reflect on your actions, release expectations and showing what you've learned. Okay. And just giving thanks and gratitude. Thank you so much, guys. Lots of love.